each one of us have different things that we're good at. Like for example, me, I'm good at how I spend my money. I can control my spending very easily, but I'm not very good at controlling my eating. I like food. When there's food in front of me, I'm going to eat it. So in order to stop me from eating, I don't have the food in front of me, or I'll just eat whatever's there. So I've learned about me that some people are very good at eating, that when they start eating, they can stop themselves before they're full. When I start eating, if there's food there, I will eat it. But when it comes to spending, I'm a much better controlled spender than I am when it comes to eating. So if you want to control your spending, the first thing that I want you to do is create three separate bank accounts. One bank account is going to be for your spending money. One bank account is going to be for your investing money. And one bank account is going to be for your saving money. And the reason why you want to do this is so you don't accidentally spend your investment money or so you don't accidentally spend the money that's supposed to be saved because now it's out of sight, out of mind. And now what you want to do is anytime you get paid, your money is going to go here. But then as soon as your money goes into this bank account, you want to automatically take some of this money and move it into this bank account and automatically take some of this money and move it into this bank account. Many banks will automate this process for you for free. If you don't have a bank that allows you to do that, maybe you look for new banks in your area that will allow you to do that. But a lot of banks will allow you to create an automation like this completely free. And now you have a system of knowing this is the money that you can spend. If there's no money in here, you have no money to spend. The second thing that I want you to do is know how much money you can spend versus invest and save. And a simple place to start is something like my 75, 15, 10 plan, which says that for now on, for every dollar that you earn, 75 cents is the maximum you can spend, 15 cents is the minimum that you invest, and 10 cents is the minimum that you save. Now, if you're watching this saying, but just put it, I'm spending 100% of every dollar that I earn. How am I supposed to now take some money aside and use it to invest or save because I don't have some extra cash? Well, I want you to think of it this way. If the government tomorrow announced that there's gonna be a new 25% tax on your income, what are you gonna do? You're gonna kick, scream, complain, cry, and then you're gonna figure out how to pay it. Same thing here. Now what you're doing is not giving money to the government, you're giving money to yourself to make yourself rich. Because now what wealthy people do, and what you're going to be doing, is you're going to pay yourself first. And by paying yourself, I don't mean going out and buying a new Gucci bag, I mean now using money to make yourself wealthy. Your investments are here to make you wealthy. Your savings are here to protect you against a financial emergency. The spending money is there to allow you to have the nice things, go on the nice vacations, eat at the nice restaurants, buy the nice cars, but this money is not going to make you rich. This money will make you rich. This money will protect you financially. This money will allow you to live your life. But you need to make sure that now you're not spending all of your money here. That way you always, no matter what, pay yourself first. You're always going to be investing your money because this is where you're going to build your wealth. Now, if your goal is to put aside $100,000, let's talk about what this actually means because if you're making, let's just say, $50,000 a year, and now you're going to be putting aside 25% of your income, some of it's for investments, some of it's for your savings to build your wealth, that means that right now you're going to be putting aside uh, $12,500. At this rate, if you put aside 25% of your income, assuming you don't get a pay raise, because if you get a pay raise, you're going to be investing more money and saving more money, because now when you get a pay raise, your investments also get a pay raise. But if you don't get a pay raise, and now you're putting aside 25% of your income, well, it's going to take you eight years to have that $100,000 put aside. Now, some of this is going to be in your savings account, some of this is going to be in your investment account, but now you have a solid plan on how you can put aside $100,000 in not that long of a time, assuming you don't get a pay raise, but there's more. Number three, if you want to accelerate how fast you can put aside this $100,000, you can also let your money make you money. Because now when you're putting your money here to invest, this money is supposed to grow. Now this doesn't mean it's necessarily going to grow by a certain percentage every single year, but you're putting this money aside here, that way it gets bigger, that way your money is making you money here. The money here in your savings account probably isn't going to grow much. Sure, maybe if you put your money in a high interest savings account, you might get some return on your money, but this is where you really want to see your money grow 
and if you know how to invest your money the right way, now not only are you putting money aside, but your money is going to be working to grow as well. That way now you're working to get a raise. That way you can give a raise to your investments and you can get a raise to your savings, but then your money that you put into this investment account is also going to be working to grow as well. That way this can grow even quicker so you can hit this goal even faster than eight years. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you got to do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.